Fog Wrestling back with another video and it is that time when Brian Pillman tried to shoot Stone Cold Steve Austin. Don't remember? Well here's a wee refresher. Kevin Kelly is standing by live via satellite from the home of Brian Pillman. Yeah, so 1996 is a weird year for WWE. Like they were trying to try new stuff, but at the same time, it's almost like they couldn't let go of the new generation era. They just lost Nash. And Hall to WCW. WCW is kicking their ass. They're trying to think outside the box. They're pushing Austin. They've made him king of the ring. So he's in this feud with Brian Pillman. And like, even though the rest of the show is PG, it's like, you know, it's like 2012 levels of PG. Santino Morella, you know, it's just a very weird dynamic. You've got like a very weird show. Like, this didn't take place in the middle of the attitude. This didn't even take place in the attitude. That's what makes it. This took place in 1996. The 4th of November, to be exact, roughly 26 years ago to the month. It is 26 years ago to the month. And it's like, what was Vince McMahon planning to do by this? Was he trying to test ideas that he wanted to see from the future in the Attitude Era and sprinkle them in and see how... Because we, we do see the odd couple of things, you know. It's not like when he does that thing, but it's predetermined, you know. He does that in 97, you know. But it's not like... Before they didn't try anything, like, this is a clear example of trying, but what, like, why would they go to this extreme? Because, like, I mean, yeah, you've got people going through tables, but we've never seen the likes of someone pulling a gun. I mean, Austin pulls the gun of McMahon in the ring, but that's a fucking parody, you know what I mean? It's not, not on the same level, in my opinion. I mean, but in the actual, you do see, like, you know, Triple H getting bit by a stake, Triple H breaking into people's houses, I mean, that sort of stuff, people getting thrown off bridges, but pulling a gun, which is literally, like, you know, if he hits a headshot, it's good night. So basically about the offence that happened that night, we've got Brian Pillman in his house, he's injured, we know Austin has arrived in, the, the, he's arrived at his house, Pillman's friends are outside, Austin proceeds to just lay the smack down and batter his friends, he then like, he's trying to like, I mean, I, see, I get it, like Austin's breaking into Pillman's house in America, you know, I mean, you can literally shoot on sight of that stuff happens in the UK, you can't really, because the UK is pretty pish, I mean, but this isn't a time to debate the gun laws or whatever, because at the end of the day, it's a TV program. And Austin, he breaks into Pillman's house, and Pillman just whips it a pistol. Screaming and yelling, Pillman's got this pistol out, and I don't know what the hell is going on here. It's Austin. Get out of here. So Austin breaks in, Pillman pulls the gun and we fade to static and then there is a bit of a struggle after we get back, you know, it's kind of like what the hell's going on but then we just like people grabbing Pillman trying to get him out of there it turns out Austin was never shot um, and then their feud, it doesn't really go anywhere if we're being honest, like does it really? Like Pillman just kind of joins the Hart Foundation in 97 and then sadly not long after that, <laughs> I mean, he, he dies and we never really, I mean the Hollywood Blondes here, like they had like a few good moments in WWE, like this is definitely a very, very iconic moment, like I'm not saying people don't know about this moment, but you would just assume that this moment is somewhere in the Attitude Hour, but if you actually know your stuff and you know your history, you would know that it's not, and it's a, it's a moment that, it's like, it's just an isolated moment in WWE history, it's just in a period of, like why the fuck's that happening there, sort of thing. Like, it truly is. Like, you look at other moments in Dowd RV and it's like, yeah, that moment fits the, um, it fits the territory, it fits the time. This moment, has it stood the test of time? It's it's still a great moment, but I mean, I'm talking about the time of itself that it was in. You know, I, I don't know, like, it's just insane. Like, McMahon, like, with the last time we did a last time, when McMahon blowing himself up, you know, it wasn't like, holy fuck, that's completely out of the ordinary. Now, if, I, if McMahon blows himself up in 96, I feel like it is, but I feel like by the time you get to 2007, Story, the WWE is so storyline based when you, like in the 2000s, late 90s, like, you know, it doesn't really matter. Well, in this point, it's more about the wrestling. Yes, you still do have the characters and all that, but you didn't, you didn't really get backstage stuff and, you know, people going into houses. So it, it made for an insane um, scene and segment. But anyway, guys, that'll do it for this time when Pillman tried to shoot Stone Cold Steve Austin. Leave your thoughts down below. Any other things you would like to see us cover, cover here on the channel, leave it down below. Until next time, peace.